Hello there everybody, Neo here, and welcome back. It's been quite a while. I hope everybody has been doing great lately and everything like that. Uh, I decided that I want to do a little bit of a chatty episode where I'll tell you guys what's going on uh, with my channel, with myself and stuff like that. So, um, the one thing I really want to say is that I have no plans for this episode, so we're just going to do like... Uh, strip mining, maybe I'll go to the um, ocean monument and have a little bit of uh, work there Work done there. Oh, it's full. Okay. It doesn't need that. So as you can see <laughs> from my inventory I've been doing a little bit of um, strip mining recently and <clears throat> I've been doing that for like um, Therapeutic reasons. I know I pronounced that wrong. I'm sorry about that but basically uh, recently I've been playing on the server on and off, I would say, and uh, I've been using it to, you know, sort of get my mind off of things, really, because there's been quite a lot happening around me recently, and that really shows on uh, on the channel. Uh, let's just go back. Real quick. Wow, that is a little bit loud. Let's just fix that. So yeah, there has been quite a lot of things going around with me nowadays, and uh, that really shows on the channel. There hasn't been uh, quite a lot of videos, and uh, I'm, I'm really worried that uh, how it's going to continue for me on YouTube. And the super reason for that is I'm getting a little bit busy. Um, basically what was happening nowadays is that I had my university studies coming to an end, and uh, I had some family issues, personal matters, and stuff like that, and it really not only uh, killed most of my time, most of my free time, but also I wasn't, even, even when I had free time, I wasn't in the mood to record a lot of stuff, and I especially wasn't in the mood to edit. To be honest, editing is like something that takes up a lot of time and it needs a lot of uh, concentration. You know, I try to put in a lot of effort into my videos when I'm editing. You stop there, thank you, and we're going to put you right here. So yeah, that takes a lot of time and uh, there are many occasions when it's... Even though it's fun to see something start out as a raw footage and then uh, ending up as a video that's ready to be put on YouTube, a lot of times it's it's a lot of effort, a lot of uh, hard work, it gets tiring and you know it's just not as fun as it might sound like sometimes and whoops like that there we go where is the lapis there we go and um, yeah, if I'm if I'm honest, there there have been occasions when I was about to record something and turn it into a video, but I decided, you know what? Ah, right now I just can't really be bothered, and I decided against it. And I'm really I'm really a little bit sad about that and mad at myself because, you know, YouTube is something for me that's even though I'm not big or anything like that, and I'm perfectly aware of that. It's, it's still fun and I'm sort of a person who likes to create stuff and creating videos is really something that was uh, pushing me forward, you know, to learn new stuff and, and try myself out in something that's creative but completely new to me. And now I've been doing YouTube for quite a while and, you know, I got the hang of making videos uh, putting the effort into them and realizing what this means in terms of energy and time you need to put into it and all that stuff but you know sometimes it's like ah, I don't know it's just not something you feel like oh Jesus Christ this is just clutter this is just clutter. I was looking for flint. I think it's down there. So yeah, sometimes it's it's really hard to get into the mood of editing, especially hard when there are other things on your mind and other things you have to do. And to be honest, nowadays I had a lot on my mind. Now, I'm not going to go into the personal details, personal matters and family matters and all that stuff, but... Um, one thing I have to do right now is check this message, so I'll be back. Okay, so like I said, I'm not going to go into 
the personal matters or the family matters because, well, <laughs> it's in the name, it's quite personal. But um, yeah, that really, uh, those were, whoa, hello, hello there. We don't need you here. Why did he spawn here? I thought this was, oh, light level here. There we go. Ah, uh, the other places look fine, sort of. So yeah, like, obviously that's personal, so, I'm, and I'm not really the type who, who really goes into a lot of details like that. I, I, I try to keep my personal life uh, away from YouTube, really. And, uh, however, one thing that I can really talk about, I guess, is uh, my university studies, which were really something that basically just took most of my free time. Basically what happened is, where I live, at the end of university, there's a, a big state exam. Now what that means is, you have to take uh, an oral exam from three different subjects. Two of those are the same for everybody. And the last one is your specialty. Wow, that was weird. And he's dancing. Not anymore, he doesn't. So. The third subject is your specialty subject. Now, in my case, that was composites and mechanical textiles. And uh, what happens is we we got a list of uh, topics, and we had to like choose from them uh, when we got to the exam. Now, don't think of choosing as like you know I say that I want to discuss this topic. Obviously, there were little sheets of papers with numbers on them uh, turned upside down, and uh, it was all random. Now. What do I need? What do I need? I might need some rails because I want to extend the strip mine. I'm gonna take this one as well. There we go. Come with me. So um, yeah, we got little uh, pieces of paper. We took three of them from the three uh, different subjects. We got three different uh, topics, and we, uh, you know, obviously had to tell what we know about those topics. Now, this is only one part of the uh, state exam. The other part is our thesis work. Now the thesis work is basically we had to to, uh, to do that we had to write a 60 page thesis on a topic that we chose which had to be somehow connected to our studies. Now I did that and that was yeah that, that, that was something that really took a lot of time but um, I think I'm going to make a little corner here like so and the chest can go there. Now I don't have a chest. Oh, I'm an idiot. Why didn't I take the chest? But I do have the minecart, so I should be good to go back. Although I have to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. So, yeah. Um, I've written my thesis, and at the state exam, you have to defend it. Now, what that means is, um, obviously the... Uh, stop. There we go. Obviously the judges read our thesis work, and... Uh, they gave us uh, their opinion about it, and after that, they asked us questions which were connected to what your thesis is about. And there's one more thing you have to do, which is create a presentation, basically a slideshow, and talk about basically the whole thesis that you did, like your whole work on it. And uh, that's the way how the... Uh, I can hear a zombie. That's the way how our... Um, there we go. And the chest there. I'm going to put this here. And this one as well. That could go. And no, actually this one stays here. So this that's how my um, my thesis uh, no, my state exam went. And it took a lot of time to get prepared on it. Like you know, there are times when you when you take exams and obviously you have to learn from them. Learn learn for them, but this was just on another scale. You know, this this was basically the biggest thing I had to done, which is like connected to school and stuff, and it take a lot of time to get prepared. And to be honest, I wasn't prepared. Like, like I said, there's three different subjects, and there was 15 topics from each subject. Uh, I don't know how much, how many of the topics I actually knew, like fully, but I do know that it wasn't a lot. And the day my state exam was, which was uh, not so long ago, actually a few weeks ago, um, we went in with my friend, he took us with his car, and 
yeah, we were we were very very nervous. Not just because it was a big thing, but because we sort of felt like we are not prepared for it properly. And you know, that's another thing that you have to keep in mind. That that's going to be stressful if you're not prepared. So really, if I can give you an advice on on uh what is this rotten flesh here? Did the uh thingy die? The zombie, I think it just died for some reason. I don't understand. But okay. So um, that's that's one tip I can give you if you have an exam, do learn and uh, you know, then you will have confidence because you're not going to get into a situation where you're not sure if you know something. Oh, and there's a creeper. Why are you being annoying? There we go. And uh, yeah, I would I would definitely suggest that. I know this sounds very cliche, but Especially from my mouth, because basically I'm, I'm done with my uh, education. But it really does make a lot of difference when you go in to have a test. And you know that they can't, they can't really mess with you because you know everything. That's, I think, one of the best things in the world. And I wasn't in this situation. <laughs> I knew that there were a lot of topics that I had no idea about. And, uh, well, basically how it went down is we went in, uh, we had to give our presentations. Uh, the judges listened to it, asked their questions, had a little bit of a discussion about it. Uh, they told us their opinion, and then they, you know, made mocks on their notes as to what sort of grade they will give you on your work. And after that, you had to, you know, take a, take the pieces of paper and, um, you know, realize what uh, topics you have to discuss. And then you get a little bit of time to make your notes about the topics that you got and then they tell you to sit down in front of the judges and basically just start talking. Now, there were four of us from my specialty uh, who had their state exams at the same time and we knew each other, we were like good friends and uh, I was the last one to go in. Now the way this went down is two of us asked for uh, their thesis work to be classified so we couldn't hear their presentation, it was all secret and stuff, which is all fine, uh, but Obviously that meant that they were the first two who got in and uh, gave their presentations Then they cho chose their topics. Oh, and I got a phone call. So I'll be back in a second All right, so sorry about that as you can see there's still a lot of distractions, which uh, is actually yeah kind of annoying, but sadly right now I'm Basically, I can't really do a lot of stuff about it as I said, there are quite a few personal matters that I have going on, which are like, yeah, most of them is, most of them are um, quite stressful, so bear with me. But yeah, basically, uh, do I need this? Well, I think I can keep it. I can still hear that zombie somewhere. I'm not sure if it's up or to the side, but I guess we'll figure that one out once we get to that point. Okay, so what I'm doing right now, by the way, while I'm talking to you guys, is uh, trying to put my... Uh, beacon down a little bit further away because I had my uh, basically I reached the uh, level or not level reached the uh, border of the effect that the beacon gives me yeah I would say border anyway um, so yeah that's what I'm, I'm trying to do and there's one thing I really have to look out for so this is the block, so it's one level, that's nine, two level, that's seven, five, and three. And this is where the uh, middle part should go, so it's one, two, three, four this way, one, two, three, four this way, and I have to get rid of some of this wall here. Right, so, um, yeah, back to the th uh, state exam. Um, I was very, very lucky when... Uh, I took the uh, pieces of paper and realized what sort of topics I have to discuss with the judges. Uh, I managed to choose uh, <laughs> topics that I know quite a lot about. Uh, the composites one was basically the basis of, of composites, like the most general stuff. So that was pretty easy to uh, pretty easy to uh, have an exam about and discuss. So. I was very very lucky and to be honest thinking back the amount of studying I've put in I didn't deserve an, an A to be honest uh, but that's what I got so I'm really really happy about it and I'm going to get my degree in a few days uh, at the university at uh, ceremony basically 
and uh, yeah, that's that's gonna be something I have to attend to. And as you can imagine, like I said, studying to this was really, really a lot of work, a lot of time, a lot of effort needed to put into it. And even though I tried my best, I didn't even manage to get close to learning and studying everything. So that was one of the main reasons why the channel was pretty much inactive. Uh, and I wasn't putting out a lot of videos. Even if I did, I was doing something which which didn't take a lot of time to, to make. Uh, just something quickly. Is that correct? Yeah, it seems like it is. Okay. So, um, yeah, that was the reason for why I was slacking, basically, <laughs> a little bit. But, um, whoops, I need to clear this out a little bit more. But yeah, I'm back here now, and to be honest, like, don't get me wrong, I was playing. Obviously, you can't just sit and study all day, you would just go crazy. Uh, so I was playing, I was talking to friends, and, you know, I was spending my free time, but the one thing I didn't feel like doing in my free time was uh, editing videos, and that's what really stopped me. I even, at some point, I even uh, managed to record some stuff which might uh, end up in a video, uh, but I have to look it back, obviously, to see if it's good enough. Um, but yeah, most of the time I spend studying or uh, dealing with my personal matters. Oh, and I missed the top one, which is done right now. Do I have a piece of iron? No, I do not. And I didn't bring the uh, the crafting table or the furnace with me. Okay, so that's going to be a little bit inconvenient. I have to go back and smelt a piece of iron. And it's working. Nice. Okay. So let's just quickly go back and do that. Okay, I got it. <laughs> do I have iron in here, maybe? Nope, by the looks of it, I do not. So I'm, I'm only going to need one piece of iron. While I'm doing that, I'm going to get rid of this crafting table and bring it with me. Actually, maybe I should bring this one with me as well, although there's quite a lot of clutter in it that I don't need specifically. I don't even know why this is here. Cold and stuff. Nah, I'm gonna get rid of that. Oh, and I think I use this as sort of a dump place. I'm actually gonna keep some... Stay there. Oh, no, 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 not that. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I almost threw my axe in there. So I think this was the hole that I used to get rid of some stuff. Yeah, and I'm gonna get rid of that one as well, although I'm going to take the chest, because the chest is always useful, let's be honest. Chests are great. Get that, get that, and get this. There we go. Okay, now we can go back. And I'm lazy to walk, so I'm going to use the minecart. Right, so, <clears throat> as you can see, I did all the, the uh, branch mining around this area. And what I'm doing is, because, as far as I know, it has a 50 block radius, the beacons. Uh, I'm putting it 100 blocks away, so it's like 50 blocks in that direction, 50 blocks in that direction, and that basically means I can go back, finish the ones that I still need to do on this side, and then I can go and extend uh, around there. And I need haste one, haste two, click. And now I should be able to... Yep, I am able to instant mine the stone. Nice. <coughs> Great. Okay. So, I haven't really done anything fancy or particular when uh, I was studying. I just sort of did branch mining a little bit, and uh, <clears throat> I did did uh, I did do one thing. Uh, I started to clear out the inside of the ocean monument, and I did start to. Uh, continue basically clearing out the water from around it uh, but I didn't do a lot of that because I wanted to turn that into an episode because I had like one episode of that and what my original idea was is to make it into a two episode thing and I should light this place up because there are already monsters spawning is there a cave up here maybe they can no it doesn't seem like that if they're not coming through the beacon, although I'm pretty sure they aren't. 
Even if they do, they can't get down, so that's not the way he came. He probably spawned in somewhere. I have to check the light levels. Right here it's 6, so they can spawn here. So I'm going to put down some more torches around this place. And yes, 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 I need the chest. I need uh, the crafting table. There it is. Set up. And I don't need this anymore. There we go. Okay, so that can go in, and it's already going to start to smelt. Nice. And let's get rid of this again. Actually, I should bring this back, if I'm honest, because it doesn't really... I don't really need it here anymore. I don't even know why they are here. Do I need all this cobblestone? I do not, although I'm, I'm going to need a... Uh, there we go. A place where I can dump the stuff that I really don't need and I'm not hitting it correctly. Is that good? Yes, that's good. Okay, so let's throw them around now. And it still stayed up. Are you kidding me, Minecraft? There we go. Um, I think I'm going to keep all this stuff. Oh yeah, the chest, the chest, the chest. Oh, I already put down the chest. There we go. Okay then, no, we don't need that. I guess I'm gonna keep the gunpowder, coal, redstone, yada yada yada. I might leave the hop and the letter here. <clears throat> Who knows, maybe they're useful. And the extra mine card. Yep. Uh, are you ready? No, you are not. And that is a problem. Actually, I'm going to take it with me and I'm going to smelt it at my base. Right. So the basic idea with the ocean monument is to clear it out. Uh, <clears throat> the outside, obviously. And I'm going to uh, leave... I haven't decided where, but somewhere around it I'm going to leave the water in so I can make a guardian farm for myself so I would have the materials to uh, play around with the insides of it. And the other thing, I think this is still very, 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 very loud. Maybe it's just in my ear, but I don't know. <clears throat> so the next thing I'm going to do with it is uh, turn it into my new base, really. Um, I, I like staying at the spawn chunks but to be honest no matter how good of an idea the tower was it's not very convenient and I never gotten around to use the top part the top levels for anything really and that just kind of bugs me because you know I wanted that to be a good good base but it takes a lot of time to walk around and you know, I know that I can make something better and already having the ocean monument as a structure for that is going to save a lot of time for me because all I really have to do is clear it out leave it here, there we go all I really have to do is clear it out and uh, the outside is already done, basically the structure is there so all I really have to do is the inside and uh, that's my plan and idea and I'm still getting notifications so bear with me for a second alright so this day basically is full with notifications I'm I'm sorry about that but you know once I get to edit this video uh, you guys won't even notice the time that <laughs> uh, really passed between two cuts like this time it was a lot of hours a lot of hours that passed between this cut and the one before when I got the notification. Um, but yeah, like I said, let's go to the Ocean Monument and have a look what happened there uh, during episodes. Now, as I said, I'm still not finished with it. And actually, I think I should have brought some dirt with me. Yeah, there's not a lot left. But I'm gonna pick this up real quick. I don't remember this boat here, but okay, I guess free boat. So that's not too bad. So yeah, um, like I said, it's still not finished, and uh, I'm still working on it. I'm, the one thing I'm doing differently this time is I was using the dirt blocks on this level, just above the water, basically one block above the water, and uh, it was a little bit inconvenient, to be honest, because I couldn't move under them, but this time, as you can see, I brought it up two blocks, so now it should be a lot easier and a lot better access so like hello guardians I don't have any sand on me but like at this height I'm going to put down the uh, sand but 
I, I'm only going to do it like I did before up to the water level and then go down and clear it out and as you can see I'm, I'm using these uh, dirt uh, pathways uh, not only to walk around but that's one two three four uh, let's say about here not only to walk around but as blocks to put the sand blocks right next to them like I did before it's just because it's a little bit higher it enables me to move underneath them uh, that one is actually one going going out one block too far there we go right so yeah that's not gonna be a problem anymore whereas with this one I, I couldn't move I had to go around it or over it somehow to get to a different uh, area and did I put down yeah I did put down the sand there where is the rest of my sand I think I left it in the chest maybe oh well it doesn't really matter so I say let's go down and have a look inside now uh, I didn't clear out for clear it out fully that's that's going to be a lot of time to finish but I did start to clear out the main areas and like the entrance part and obviously every uh, every ocean monument is generated using algorithms so whenever you find one it's never going to look like one well statistically never gonna look like one that you have found before so I started open up, uh, opening up these walls as you can see this this was a room closed with this wall right here uh, you can see the texture change or like the block change block difference here and uh, yeah, basically I started clearing out this main area and my plan is to leave the I think it's about one two it's either three or four levels up high and I'm planning to use all four levels or maybe uh, bring it down to three I haven't decided yet but uh, I'm trying to keep the levels intact so I can decide what to do with them and uh, basically this is how the base is going to end up um yeah so that's the plan i really am going to change whoops didn't meant to actually get that out i just wanted to point on it i'm really going to change the uh ceiling it's not ceiling floor actually thinking about maybe the ceiling as well <laughs> but the floor is definitely going to be changed what is this is th does this serve any purpose maybe there's water above it and there's a block that block is definitely a block that I have placed down not sure what's going on with that okay I can't actually I can't get through here but I do want to have a look what's behind this wall okay nothing that was my hunch that there's nothing behind this wall really and we pick these up real quick <clears throat> and what about that one Let's fix that. There we go. Looks nice and neat. Maybe like this. Yeah, sort of opens up and then flushes to this wall. Actually, I might take these out as well. Uh, I'm not sure. I'll, I'll, I'll leave it. Leave it in right now. So yeah, if I go up here, here's the next level. I think I can open up this wall. Yeah. And as you can see, this would be the second level or the first floor or however you might want to look at it this would be the third one and what I'm thinking of is around some places wait a second oh there we go this way I can walk by oh yeah I'm going to open up these rooms now that's the problem with it like from the inside usually these monuments are like mazes and it's really hard to to remember where you're going or at least I don't really have the brain power and capacity to remember every uh, turn I, I make so these open openings that I'm making are actually really helpful to see how it it works out but yeah as you can see here's another level and I'm not sure about this level I'm, I'm thinking that um, this fourth level is is gonna go and the way I'm gonna do that is I'm going to open up uh, the third and the fourth level I'm going to open them together and I believe this is the yes this is the middle one like actually let's fix that there we go now it's all nice so yeah not sure about the third level probably that's gonna go and uh, going to have a bigger uh, upstairs area 
However, what I was also thinking is maybe getting rid of the second level and keeping the third and fourth. Because the fourth one is not that big. It only has a few rooms, I believe. And, uh, you know, those rooms can be used for, like, mini farms or something like that, micro farms. But the first and second level, if I open those together, I'm getting a big high space to uh, create like a big storage unit or something like that. So that's also something I'm going to think about. What's behind this wall? And actually while you're trying to open it up, it's like, you know, you're trying to figure out what wall goes where, which rooms are connected by walls and stuff. And if you get them out, where you're going to end up, like in this case. So it's really sort of a discovery. I'm not sure about this wall though. Oh, it leads to a different area. Okay. So even though I, as you can see, I completely uh, discovered this monument before, I still can't remember how it looks like on the inside. A lot of times. Oh, this is the top part. There was a guardian here, if I remember correctly. Oh, and it's actually quite dark here. I should do something about that. Because there's going to be mobs spawning all over the place. And I really do not want that to happen. Oh, and there's a furnace I left behind. Apparently. Yeah, at least it has cobblestone in it. Ah, uh, cobblestone. Coal in it. Okay, I have no idea what my brain is thinking. And these little back side roots are something that I really... I don't really need them. So not sure what I'm going to do with these, but these gonna go... Oh! What the? I must be stupid, but I don't understand how that worked. Okay, whatever. We somehow ended up here. I thought I was a level up... Oh, but did I jump down? Okay, I, I'm starting to lose my sense of space right now. So um, yeah, I'm going to start clearing this out a little bit and I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so we're back here. As you can see, I installed a uh, beacon for myself so I can have the haste effect and <clears throat> to my biggest surprise, actually the prismarine box can be instant mined and I didn't even know that so that's that was a cool idea to do so and a good surprise. So basically I just cleared out a lot of this area. As you can see, a lot of walls have been mined and this whole area is like a big empty space. I was thinking about maybe utilizing this place for a uh, storage area <clears throat> and other bits and bobs. We'll see what goes here. What I'm thinking here may be an enchanting station because this could be like a little plinth or something like a pedestal maybe or something like that. And uh, I started to have a look at the next levels uh, and clearing out this place as well. As you can see, I left the sea lanterns in. I don't know if, if if I have... Yeah, I have a silk touch pick with me, but I haven't used it just yet. So I started clearing out this place as well. <clears throat> and uh, I don't think I've done much with the third floor. Uh, no, by the looks of it, I haven't. But, oh yeah, here, only here. Uh, I've cleared out a little bit, but like I said, I'm going to open up the third and the fourth floor to be one combined place, basically. And uh, yeah, this is the only place. Oh, that's a weird graf graphical bug, but apparently the beacon beam disappears if I look up for some reason. Maybe it's off to, off to find, I don't know. <clears throat> But yeah, that's what I've been doing. Uh, however, this episode is is a little bit long now. Ouch, that actually hurt. So I'm going to round this up here. Uh, in the next episode, I think I'm going to continue clearing this place out. Uh, and also, as you can see, I'm still on the water on this part of the monument. So that's something I really have to look into. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, don't, don't forget to leave a like uh, and subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.